The first commencements here were actually relatively simple affairs. There was a single obvious place to hold them uh, because there were only a few buildings here and the rest of the campus was empty. So they set up in front of Lovett Hall. They built a canopy. You have to remember, for, for decades, commencement here was held in June and it was very, very hot. So they needed to provide some shade for the people, especially the kids in their, in their robes. It was held here in front of Lovett Hall up until about 1935. Um, the problem that was beginning to develop in the 20s was that there were so many more students and they had so many more family members that there wasn't any place to put them. The hedges were closed off, so they couldn't seat people where we seat them today. And instead, they strung them out alongside uh, the side of Lovett Hall. Eventually, that problem got so severe that they had to move it. So they moved it over to the side of the chemistry building, which allowed them to build a much larger canopy using the two sides. That's where commencement was up until roughly 1950. In the 1950s, they needed to move commencement again because with the new building that took place on campus and the construction of Anderson Hall, there was no, there was no, and also <laughs> trees. Right? They had planted trees alongside the side of the chemistry building and they had begun to grow to a height where it was problematic to get a lot of people in there. So the decision was made to move commencement again to Lovett Hall, but now on the outside rather than on the inside on the quad. The outside at that point, what we now call Founders Court, was still a parking lot in those days. And they stayed out on that side of, of uh, Lovett Hall um, up until about the mid-1980s, at which point they moved back over to the quad side and to the morning rather than the evening and opened up the, the hedges, which had been closed off before then. And it was the opening up of the hedges that, that makes this work because now there's room to put the, all the seating for the, the graduates and the guests. The setting that we've been using, the beauty of the buildings and the beauty of the quad itself with the green grass and the hedges, it gives a real sense of the importance of the occasion. You know, unlike a lot of schools that have to have uh, commencement in, in an auditorium or a gym, it feels like what it is. It feels momentous and important.